Hey guys, welcome to Almost Inevitable Design and let's learn more about Flex. Now, uh, if, you, if you haven't checked out the other uh, tutorial I have, it doesn't have a video so you need, need to go and read it, but um, go check it out and you'll see how to learn, uh, learn how to make the buttons uh, come together. Uh, here, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to try to change some of the basic behavior that most uh, themes, including Divi, does because I'll, I'll explain. All right, so this is uh, a, just a regular page. I made that. So I decided that since I'm helping out my daughter's gym, might as well use um, rhythmic gymnastics, uh, dance and ballet stuff. I don't know. It's just, yeah. So I'm helping them out, some charity work like that. Huh. Anyways, um, so this is uh, the basic layout that we're going to start with. Like that. So we have two columns like this, images, and two more here, uh, three here, okay, and four, and all this. All right. Now, if now this page will stack to look like this. All right. Now. It looks okay, looks fine until you come here and these images, well, it's not okay, but then one, two, three, it takes up a whole screen and even more. Now, when you go to four columns, it's getting out of hand pretty quickly, right? And also, these images are smaller, are larger than this image. When, if you look at the original page, that image is more prominent than these images. So the hierarchy and the level of focus, the amount of focus that you can get from the size, it's really not working to what you planned. And also, like I said, this stacking is ridiculous, especially if you get into uh, blurbs with icons, then it gets really tedious and it's, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, I don't think. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make them not stack and um, get them to go across. Now, I'll, I'll, oops, I'll show you how that looks like in a second. But what we're going to do is we're going to learn about flex. Now, the easy way to do this, uh, this is the same page, but this has all the flex uh, controllers, CSS uh, classes. Now, what I do is I always add them in the set uh, the row section, section settings, advanced settings in the class. So, well, oh, no, wait, sorry, this is this is just for the text. Yeah, so here you can see uh, I added this flex columns. Now what flex columns does is it's going to, if you look here, what I did is if I have the, if I have flex columns, you can see flex columns here, I'm, I'm, I hope you can see that. See flex columns here, and that means that if, you, if I go all the way down to rows, I will have added, I think, I hope this works here, I will have added flex. Okay, now flex, yeah. But the, but the important thing is, um, it really doesn't matter here. What we need to do is when we go into um, mobile, all right? So uh, what we're, that's what we're gonna do. So if you flex, these guys, and then they're going to try to fit each other on a row, on a single row. And later, that will look if you add the, all the uh, all the the, 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 uh, the CSS, I guess, to the sections. Then this is what you get, like that. Now, this is not as you know space consuming, and vertically challenging as uh, as this guy, right? As, you know, the original. So um, if people want to see it in full screen, they can just do that, right? And how do you do that? Of course, you click on um, the, the, the display thumbnail, not a display thumbnail, show in light box feature down here, open in light, open in light box, open in light box down there. So that's, that's how you, um, there you go. That's how you can get that to do that. So then, you can pretty much get the same thing. If people want to zoom in, they can zoom in. Otherwise, it's just a banner that can go across and they can just scroll through, right? Same for three. 
You can do the same thing if you want to. Um, now, if on four, it becomes really small. And the thing is, you can see that the height here and the height here, the, the vertical height, if, if you get more, if you get four of these, then they're going to get narrower or shorter, right? So what I did was I made them stack like this. So we get two by two grid, right? So they're still smaller than that image, which is what we originally intended, um, like over here. That's what we originally intended. We wanted them to be smaller because let's say, for example, like this, you're showing lots of different moves and this is a much more important. Now, I know, I know this is the same picture as up there, but let's say this is an important image that goes in here. Then people will get to see this more prominently than they see these. All right, so and of course, if you want to zoom in, they can. Yep, so um, the way that this works is these guys after the flex will be 50% and they will have a separate flex wrap connected to them. All right, so I'll, I'll show you where that is. Now, um, if you look here, so that's the flex, nope, nope, up here, nope, up here. That's the flex columns and I added a two by two just so it'll have a different class to work with. So if, if it's under a section that has these two classes, then it will filter all, all the way down and these columns will be 50%. And these uh, this whole flex area will have a wrap, flex wrap. That gives, uh, that makes the, the, the blocks wrap and that means, you know, if it's 50%, 50%, two 50%, that gives you 100 and then the next 50 will be on the next line. So that's how you get them to do that. Cool. So uh, two, three, all you need to do is just add uh, down here, uh, add flex columns. That's how I made the, that's how I wrote the CSS, flex columns. If you have a four column section and you want it to be two by two, just write two by two like that and just add them in there. Um, oh, by the way, if you look here, if you look here, yeah. So uh, what I, all, another thing that I'm doing is making this row full width using a custom gutter width of one and equalizing column heights, all right? And I do that for all the image banner sections here, here, you know, in the green section over here in the row. Yeah, that's what I do for every row. Um, oops. Is that right? Yeah, here it is. Uh, full width, custom gutter of one, and column heights uh, equalize that. And uh, top and bottom, margin padding, all zeros. And yeah, there you go. So that's how you make them all stick together, like this, like that. You have a proper banner, image banner like that. And then you can have them stacked uh, like this. So. That's how, um, that's how you flex out these um, items. So uh, put that to good use. And um, if you come up with some fun layouts and some creative ways of using this, let me know. I always like using Flexbox, so uh, have fun with that. And maybe I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.